Mr. FedEx driver, where is my package? Welcome back to the vlog. This should be vlog number six. Anyway, I know you heard me in the beginning. FedEx driver, you send me a text and you tell me my package is delivered. I go and open my door. No package. I go outside. I look at the neighbor next to me. I look at the neighbor on this side because I will fight for my package. Why ain't got no package? I hurry up and put a claim. The good thing is, I got it through PayPal and Huntay. Trust and believe, I'm about to get my money back. But I'll let y'all know what happened with that package and if I get it. Well guys, this is not gonna be a long video because I don't have long, because I'm about to get out of here. It's 82 degrees outside? Heck, yeah, 82. This is stuff I'm talking about. So as you see in the uh, footage that I did, I went to the mall. So I just wanted to get out, you know? It was a lot of people out there too. Excuse the light from the glasses, guys. But it was a lot of people out there too. But yeah, if I stand like this, it's good. Okay, it was a lot of people out there too. So you saw. And I just, you know, I'm still not ready for a whole lot going on. But I did, sh I went in H&M. Let me see, I went in H&M. I went in a couple of stores. I walked around. Um, and then I came home and I fixed me some dinner, I think. Yeah, I think that was the end of that. Um, I said, I promised, let me tell you a couple things. I promised, you know, I like to roll my little footage first. I promised that I would uh, show you how I made my mozzarella and my olives. I said that I would show you my dinner. It wasn't the same day, but I'm showing you how I cooked my tortellini and um enjoyed seeing how I put that together don't forget this is not a food channel you are not gonna always see me make no food uh, but I like to show you little things that I make since you know I only eat side dishes and um yeah so what y'all think I put this old wig I had up in my closet with the puffs and I put me a scarf on top of it. Honey, made me a new little hairdo. And I like it. Mm-hmm. Now that I'm going back to work, 
I'm, I'm about to wear my scarves with this little afro for a minute because now I'm obsessed. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you guys, because I told you this video ain't going to be long. It's looking a little weird anyway. Anyway, I'm going to fill my inspiration board, so I wanted to make sure that I showed this to you. Um, it's still around, guys. If you followed me and you saw that I was doing my inspiration board, so today doing our conversation, because you know I always have conversation with you guys, um, I'm going to end with me filling out my board and me talking to you about it. So that is going to be the last thing we do. And you know I always got something I'm unboxing because I got a, a problem. Okay, I, I, I got no man to occupy my time. I got no children to occupy my time. Bingo gone. I can't travel with my on my cruises like I like to. Um, so, yeah. I got to enjoy life, honey. Keep telling you. Enjoy life. Do you. Child. Anyway, what did I get from H&M? Let's see. All right, so the first thing I got, let me step back a little bit. Oh, I got this beautiful, I, I don't know, I just, I told y'all in the last vlog that I, that I wanted to start wearing my long dresses and dresses, so I'm obsessed. And I got this long, look how long it is, guys. White dress, it is sheer, but it's got a white, um, it's got a white slip under it. Um, this is, I don't know if I ever wear it to work. If I did, I wear it with a blazer, but I know that I'm gonna wear this out and about. And you gotta really look at it. Can you tell? You see the pretty, it's like got a little sparkle shine to it. Can y'all see it? So pretty. This looks so cute with some little, um, I'm picturing it with my Zara black, uh, ankle boots with the pearls on it uh giving it roughing it up a little bit and if it's a chilly night that i wear it put it on with the uh with a little biker jacket gray wore my biker i have a biker jacket that i haven't even wore in two years i gotta start wearing that stuff but that's pretty right what y'all think so you know you're gonna see me style it right okay <laughs> Child, this is what I like about when I go to H&M. I like it when they have sales. You see that tag right there? $8.99. And this is something that I'm going to wear next year because cold time is over here. I, I don't think we're going to get too many more cold days. But look at that pretty silver black design in it. Um, silver black design. The dress is black. Silver designs in it are you okay i ain't had no drink i promise you i haven't anyway and it's got cutouts on the side what i'm gonna do with that y'all what am i gonna do with these cuts on the side somebody tell me what grandma gonna do with these cuts on the side you gonna see me style it i don't care if i have to go and i can get the tailor to sew this part up and just have it a you know a hole in it a little bit this one is all the way i tried it on first of all it's too big for me i know you like that dress ain't too big for you it is and it's a large and it is too big for me um but i'm gonna get them to sew that part up right there where i only have that little bit showing because this shows the whole you can look in there and see all everything you need to see but I got a vision for this. So remember this dress for next winter. And this one. So I got this one as well. Same thing. $8 or $9. Um, now this one I really like. Look at this. It has the cutout on the arm part. And if you like me or anybody who don't like really showing like this right here, I'm going to put a jacket on with this. I don't, my arms ain't as, as put together as I would like. Now, 
to you, it might be like, your arms ain't that big. I done seen some big arms. Everybody's body is different and how they feel about it, right? So it's not like I won't wear this. I would. If it was hot enough, I'd wear it. But I'm going to put it on with a, a little crop jacket. But this dress right here, it's the, um, what they call it? The uh, one that's got that uh, ribbed. It's ribbed. And um, it's tight now. Now, this one I put on. It's a little snug, okay? You know, you gotta go, ooh, it's snug. But this right here looks so good on. I can imagine if I stick to my my uh, dieting routine or my healthy routine and the gym, and then that I go back to work starting Monday. Today is Saturday, February 26th. Yep. February 26th, I go back to work Monday. So you're gonna start seeing my everyday outfits in my vlog for when I go to work. Um, just maybe I'll say hello to you every morning, just show you what I'm wearing, we'll show you what scent I'm aware for the day, something like that. But this I got because this is gonna be my birthday outfit next year. Y'all know I always wear a birthday outfit and this I wanna see if I can get in it next year. So I'm going to take a picture of what it looks like right now. And then I'm going to take a picture of what it's going to look like on my birthday. So I'm going to have both pictures for y'all. But this is going to be that dress. All right. And the last thing I got was, I told y'all I didn't do a lot of shopping. I went for sales. Now this wasn't on sale, but I wanted this. It is the long green oversized button down. Uh, it's all wrinkled because it's been in this bag. But I like the fact that it's oversized. I don't even know if it's a dress. I wonder, is it a dress? Let me see. I don't know. I don't think it's a dress. It might be because I'm sure going to wear it with uh, just a pair of, you know how you have those little short biker material shorts on just in case some wind blow or something. You ain't got to be showing everything. But I plan on wearing this with that and some type of heel. Sure is. Wear it right to the movies. So that, guys, is my unbagging. Okay? So you know I'm always doing something, unbagging something or showing you something. But I also want to show you I went to the thrift store. Now, I didn't film me going to the thrift store because this was more of a consignment store type thing, but they had a very good sale. And I wanted to tell you how, what I do when I go thrifting. So when I go thrifting and the place is called Fifi's, it's called Fifi's, and I don't know if you have one in your area, but when I get stuff, what I do is, because I don't like, the, tell me if you like this. I don't like the smell of things. Now, this place smells good. You could tell that either somebody washed the clothes or people who brung it did their due diligence and washed the clothes. It doesn't smell like your normal thrift store where some stuff just smells old, like it's been somewhere sitting. Woo! Anyway, but what I do is I bring it home and whatever bag I got it in, I put either my dryer sheets with some type of smell or whatever I want to make the smell itself go away. Then I wash it or if it needs to go to dry cleaners, I'll take it there. So I'm going to show you what I got. All right. So this has been in the bag for three days. Woo. Smell good. Then smells like me. Okay. So this beautiful it's by stene stene and it's 100 silk and it is this beautiful beautiful um sequence shirt isn't it gorgeous look at this guys i ain't want to move too far away because i didn't want the light to it is beautiful and it looks beautiful on. So this is going to go to the dry cleaners and get cleaned. But heavy. I'm not even going to tell you what I paid for. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Okay. 
I got this because they were having a half price sale. So I got this for $15. I told y'all these resellers online, they be selling this for like $60 to $100. I got it for $15. Beautiful. And you know I'm going to style it with some, some distressed jeans and a cute white little shirt or a cute little pink shirt tied up. It ain't going to look like... Because, you know, this is the stuff we used to go past and be like, oh, that's grandma. That's no, honey. This right here. You style it right. Oh, and talking about styling. Y'all remember my last week? I told y'all I got that. I showed y'all. I think it was either vlog two. It might have been vlog two. I don't know. But I showed y'all this very oversized dress that I got from the thrift store. So let me put the clip here so you can see it. And let me put how I styled it. What y'all think? Cute, right? Told y'all. Don't slip on, look at the vision. That's why I say, if you don't have a vision, if you don't see something beyond what is in front of you, then you will always be right there. You gotta look at the vision. Okay, so what else I got? Ah, I never got half the stuff I got, child. Okay, y'all ready? Mm, mm, mm. This is a Paradise New York uh, vintage skirt. Told y'all I'm really into my skirts. Look at this. Would you look at this? Jean skirt, it goes all the way down. Look at those beautiful colors, that lace. The brown and the red and the orange. And it's jean and it's embellished right there at the front. And at the back is just embellished. And it had, it has. Let me show you what it's got. It's got a little hole. Y'all see that little hole there? So I got this for $4. Four dollars. Dollars. Don't talk to me. Okay, so the color of the summer, spring, and everything else is always and forever going to be this green. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to tell you everything I got here that you see me pull out this bag. I'm going to stop saying the prices per item. Everything in here, I think I paid $35. Or no, I think I paid like. What was it? Wait, I might have a receipt in here. How much was it? I think it was. I think it was fifty or fifty-five dollars. So so far you've seen one, two, and don't even forget the first thing was that beautiful, one hundred percent silk, embellished all the way through, shirt that in itself I could sell right now for eighty dollars right now today okay so then i got this this is a isabel isabella demarco look at this green jacket look at this it's um it's cropped look at the buttons See, you know when something's good and vintage and nice when the buttons aren't just plain. Look at those buttons. And on the pocket, it has the button as well. Look at this up close. See, it's not just, it looks like a, a tweed, but it's not. Spring all day long. I'm ready. I'm ready for your spring. Now to hit you with the green, bam. You think I'm not gonna hit you with the orange? Come on now. I'm only spring shopping right now. I know I got a 500,000 blazers. Call me blazer queen. But you never have enough blazers. Do you understand me? Let me put this over a little bit. There we go. You never have enough blazers. Look at this orange blazer. Ooh, is this not nice? Is this not nice? And like I told you, it ain't got no plain buttons. These right here, look at these buttons. And you know it's something when they put the buttons on the end. Child, please. I'm not going to keep telling y'all stuff. 
because I'm going to be getting to wonder if y'all listening. Okay, so I got this. First of all, when you get vintage, remember I told you you need to make sure about your sizes, honey. Because vintage or not, now I don't even know if this vintage, but it looks so good that I'm thinking it is. I was trying to see the material. See what uh what it's made of, but I can't see. That stuff that so little. I can't see them words. But look at look at that color. I'm ready. Let me hit you with these. These are a pair of VIP jeans. I never heard of VIP jeans. I don't know. But um, I'm quite sure it's not vintage or anything. It is uh, made of cotton. And uh, it's got a little... Is that spandex? Wait a minute now. Yeah, a little spandex and taffeta or something. I don't know. But the reason why I like them, A... They are not tight. You know, I told you I like wearing loose pants. They are not tight. But look, they are a jogger type jean. And so I like the way it hugs your ankle. So you can wear so many different types of shoes with this. So these are so cute. So I like these. They got pockets in the back and pockets in the front. So these are a nice pair of pants to wear to work. Because they can't tell if it's joggers or pants. I'm like, these are pants. Do you not see the two pockets in the back? These are pants. Also, I can't. Oh, I really like this. I really like this. Look at this tie-dye. You know I am in kimonos. I got some coming for y'all. I got some kimonos coming for y'all. Mm. You just not even ready. I'm still mad about my package. Where my package at? Where is my package? Anyway, I ain't gonna say nothing though. Because I'm I didn't put a claim in with FedEx and now I'ma get them to Monday and then I'm telling PayPal, take my money back because I didn't get my product. Okay, so here's the tie-dye kimono. Look at this guys. Isn't this black and white pretty? Let me try it on. Mm, let me show y'all. Let me see if I can back this up some so y'all can really see it. Look at this. You still can't see it, but you'll see it when I style it. This is so freaking nice. So nice. And this is something I wear out, especially when spring come. Put on me some jeans, some a jean, little teeny jean skirt, and a cute little uh, tank, and just had this on for when it's a little cool. Yes. I'm still going, guys. I'm still going. Yep. And y'all know I'm scarf crazy. Look at this scarf. Look at this scarf. Look at the colors. Look at this. Is this not beautiful? Is it? Oh, this is so gorgeous. And then I like it with the black and white. Wrap it up. Wrap it up over my head. All right. Chop's still going. <laughs> I'm still going, girl. Okay. <sighs> Look at this. This. Oh, uh, now I love the fact that it's so weird that it's got these little teeny sleeves that probably don't go nowhere but right to your elbow so you can wear your pretty jewelry and i got it look at this green and white stripe it is a size y'all ready it is a size 3x i can see this on either i'm gonna have it open and wear it like it's a little mini kimono um or I'm going to belt it with my big white belt and have me on some white pants under it. And don't let me find no green pants like this. Don't let me find no green pants. Okay, y'all not listening. Last thing, finally. Oh, I love this. Mm. Let me see, it ain't got no tags. So I don't know who it's by. Look at this black and white. Look at this polka dot 
black and white. It's very thin and sheer. So when it's hot, put on me a big black belt and put on me some pumps. I'm not messing with y'all. Y'all gonna be seeing this stuff further down, you know, when it becomes a little warmer or whatever. But you're gonna see me wear this stuff, especially when spring hit. I am gonna be wearing this stuff to work. I can't even mess with y'all. I can't. Okay, so you have seen all that. And I told you this was gonna be a quick one. So let's go ahead. Now, you know I don't call this a vision board. That is not what this is. This is not a vision board. This is my inspiration board. I need it to get through my day sometimes, okay? Don't you sometimes just need something? Because if you ain't got nobody, then you need something, okay? So what I mean is if you ain't got nobody that is there to continuously uh, give you some inspiration, sometimes you got to inspire yourself, right? Sorry about the shadow in the back. It is what it is, honey. I don't know what to tell y'all. But anyway, let me tell you some of the things I got that I'm putting on my board this week. And I keep it up there till I feel like I have um, like done what I need to do, right? Hold on, I need my jacket on. I told y'all I do not like these fat arms. Just don't like them. Not right now. You know what I mean? But no matter what, <laughs> you know I'm going to give them a little something, something. You already know. I'm going to give them a little something. I love this little jean jacket that I got from Shein. I just... Look at the patchwork in it. It's got all the different jean material in it. Thin as all outdoors. But that's okay because the purpose is to cover my arms. I don't want no heavy jacket on. I just want to look. And in the back, I just want to cover my arms. So I put some, you know I got to be extra. So I put, look at the little uh, lipstick. Um... What are these things called again? I put these uh, brooches on them. Look at the little lipstick. Big old pearl one. Elephant. Hello. And my little Gucci one. So I got my little, look at that. Serves its purpose and I love that it's oversized and it comes across my uh, arm like that. Look at my little jean thing. And I'm going to put my jean converse on. I'm not messing with y'all today. Okay. Not. Grandma don't play no games. Grandma say, I'm going to do what I want to do. Wear what I want to wear. All right. So my first card. So with these cards, they have a sand on one side and also on the other. So I can continuously use the cards depending on my mood. So... I'm manifesting the fact that I would like to retire. So that is my manifestation. I'm putting it out there and you're the first ones to hear it outside of my family. I would love to retire now, God. Please make it happen one way or another. That is your plan, not mine. Because sometimes when we be telling them our plan, it's all messed up. He said, this is what you asked for. But God, you know that's not what I needed. But that's not what you ask for. So I be careful. Okay. Because he looks out for me. Right. So he has my best intentions. So if I go ahead and tell him. And pr not tell. So if I go ahead and pray. About my manifestation. I'm not going to say this is what I want. This, 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 this. I'm going to say. What's in my heart, which is I want to retire. So if I let him do it in his time and the way he has it planned, then it'll work out right. You ever notice that when things work out perfectly, you had nothing to do with it. Okay. I ain't going to say that. You had nothing to do with it. Manifestation is all about making a decision and never budging from that decision. So you can't say, 
I want to retire. Oh, no, God, I want a promotion. Oh, no, God, I want to retire. Oh, no, God, I want a promotion. What you want? I would like to retire. God, please let me retire as soon as possible. So that's my first manifestation that I want to put out there. Second thing. I want a picture this time because I want to stick. See, you can have words or you can have pictures. I need a picture this time because I want to make sure I stick to eating my side dishes, my fruits healthy. This looks healthy to me. I want to make sure I stick to eating healthy. Now, I'm not saying 100% of the time. I told y'all I'm a snacker. I told you that I like to indulge every now and then. That's what life is about. But I want 99% of my time to be me eating healthy. Start off with 50. Start off with 60, but I'm at the point that I'm at 99. Okay, so the next thing, the last thing I'm putting up here. You will be able to do what you love and offer what is best to your family. Okay, so the reason why I have this one is, listen guys. It's to the point now where I'm in a situation where I'm saying, look, I'm going to be able to help when I can. I'm not breaking my neck to help. I'm not losing every day of sleep trying to worry. I am not going to do anything but what I'm able to do. I can't make that man love you, make that woman love you. You my child, and I love you. Can't make nobody else love you, so I can't worry about what you're going through with who you decide to have as your significant other. Two, I don't sit in your home. I don't know what's going on in there. All I know is when you ask for help with your bills, I'm either going to help you or I'm not. I'm not going to talk you to death about it. I'm not going to sit there and say, well, why aren't you budgeting? I'm not going to sit there and talk about, well, what's going on that this ain't done or that ain't done. I'm either going to help you or I'm not. I'm not doing all that talking. Not worried about it. It says you will be able to do what you love and offer what is best to your family. What I love doing is I love making these YouTube channels. I like it. I don't do it for money. I already told y'all that. I like walk, rock, walk, um, mm. I love writing my blog. It is not, no, I'm not writing a book. It is not something for everybody to see. If one or two people see it, great. Because it's nothing but things about my thoughts in my head. It could be I'm tired and that's all I write. So my blog, I told y'all I have a blog, Age is How You Wear It is my blog, Google it, I'm out there, and this channel is Age, Age is How You Wear It, and then I have my channel that I do movie reviews, ghetto style, do you understand me? It's so ghetto, I'm wrong for it, okay, uh, and it's called Review Queen, so the, do what you love, you love planting, do that, you love, hey, do what is not toxic to you, okay? Because some people love things that's toxic. I can't help you with that. But, and offer what is best to your family. So, I'm either going to offer my time. But what I will not offer you, I'm not giving to no family member. I am not giving you my peace. Not happening. Y'all better join the bandwagon. Stop giving your peace up. That don't mean you don't love them. It means you love yourself too. I'm not giving you my peace. I don't care who it is. You're not getting it. That's my vlog for the day. I know you said, dang, the other ones was 40 and all that. Look, I ain't got no life. I done told y'all that. Bye, guys.